Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing the Hulk. Now, the Hulk is quite an interesting character, not because of its uh, complexity, but because it has been so revamped as years passed that I don't know what to think about it anymore. Uh, the character was first created in 1962 by Stan Lee, which is one of the most famous guys ever in everything. Awesome artist, great guy, just, you know, he's funny, he has a good view on things, he's just you know, a, a special person. So, um, yeah, 1962 was published in The Incredible Hulk, issue number one. And since then, it has been, like, in video games, in movies, like five movies. My favorite appearance of him, which is quite interesting considering it's, like, old, was in um, the series, The Incredible Hulk from the 70s, I think, which starred Lou Ferrigno, or Ferrigno, uh, as the Hulk. He looked kind of funny there, but, you know, they used no special effects almost, so it was kind of, it was pure, if you will. In any case, Hulk has been, like, colored and recolored, and uh, his appearance differs from, like, the game to the movie, to the second movie, to uh, the series, to everything, especially to the comics. In the comics, he appears, like, in a million different shapes. But anyway, uh, he was first designed to be gray because Stan Lee was looking for a color that didn't depict any nationality. Quite interesting fact, he didn't want to be racist. He didn't want to make Hulk black. Who knows what <laughs> how the world would have been if Hulk was black. Uh, so he went with gray, but then decided that gray was a bit too bland and instead chose the color green as we know him today. And uh, as inspiration for creating the Hulk. He chose uh, characters like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, Frankenstein. So it was basically a mix of different uh, iconic characters, both from history and from fiction. Now as time passed, even the Hulk's story managed to change somewhat. Initially in the comics, he was still Bruce Banner as we know him today, but the accident which turned him into the Hulk happened... Uh, on a testing field where he was working on a gamma bomb for the Department of Defense or something like that, or the U.S. Army, and uh, a teenager happened to wander onto the test field, so he was he ran to save his life and got into the accident. And in the comics, his powers are like completely different than what you see in the movies. Of course, he has the superhuman strength and the agility and everything, but uh, in the comics, he is much more than that. Apparently, from what I've read. He is able to um, last solar to withstand solar heat, like direct solar temperatures. Uh, he's able to leap across continents. He's able to destroy planets. He is able to defeat like demigods in combat or uh, just some insane stuff. Uh, instant regeneration, surviving in space, breathing underwater. So he is truly a superhero in the comics. Not as much as he is in the movies. Now, the movies, I've seen both of them, recently even. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't I don't really like the movies that much. I thought they were cool for the special effects, but they kind of massacred like what Hulk is about. They made him too serious. You know, Hulk only started gaining popularity when he joined the Avengers, which is a movie planned for 2012. But the Avengers in the comics were... Uh, when that happened, that was a time when Hulk like really turned into a whole franchise. As for the movie, um, he is played by Eric Bana, or Banya, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, in the first one. And I find it a bit boring, to be honest, because it focuses mostly on the story of the Hulk. And um, that's fine, I guess. The story in the first movie is um, like... Bruce's dad, David Banner, was working on uh, DNA modifications and he uh, did some experiments on himself and he transferred that property to his son, Bruce, that was uh, later on born. And then David was shut, David's lab laboratory was shut down by General Ross and then he, in a fit of rage, like destroyed the laboratory and he uh, disappeared from the scene. And then David, uh, not David, but Bruce, uh, returned and got into the same work line as his father and got into the accident and then started destroying shit left and right. And also Jennifer Connelly was uh, started alongside Banna in the first one. And I just, don't, I don't know, there's just something about that actress that puts me off. I don't like her fucking eyebrows. It, it, they annoy me. She's not as beautiful as people think. I don't know why she's so fucking popular. 
after Requiem for a Dream, she started getting in every single fucking movie out there, and it's just, you get enough of seeing the same person over and over. But anyway, whatevs. Uh, The second movie was more entertaining, to be honest, because it has more special effects. And I don't know, for me, as much as I care about the story sometimes, Hulk is still, like, all about Hulk and him smashing stuff and uh, destroying shit. Plus, Edward Norton is uh, one of my favorite actors, so I guess I'm sort of biased when it comes to the second one. In any case, I don't care. I know what I like. Now, let's talk a bit about the drawing. Um, Oh, by the way, there was also a video game with Hulk that was kind of well-rated. I was actually considering trying it. I think it was released in 2003, so it's rather oldish, but uh, sometimes old games can be good as well. Um, I haven't really seen any footage of it or anything, so I can't really talk about it. I just know it it received uh, quite a positive rating, around 80% or like 70 or 80 or 85%, so that's pretty good for a game that rips off uh, comic books. Now, the drawing. This took about five hours, and it was mostly an exercise of anatomy and, like, drawing uh, muscular hypertrophy and everything. Uh, The main thing that's important in the drawing is, like, the way the muscles flow into each other, because when you draw, like, a very muscly creature with very inflated uh, limbs and everything, the muscles just have to flow naturally. You can't have, like sudden stops. It can't be like made of geometric figures, else it just looks weird. It looks plastic. So that was about it uh, for like technical details. Five, five, five hours and like 15 minutes in total. But um, yeah, I wasn't really feeling up to it much, but I had to draw something just because I like keeping a steady flow of videos and uh, yeah, I mean it's not one of my favorite characters ever or anything. I don't find them that interesting. There are many other interesting and more gruesome looking characters out there. He's just like a muscular guy that just likes to smash shit. That's fine. In any case, rate this video if you liked it, and I'll see you for my next ones. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.